been charged for allegedly making death threats against elections officials. We prodded out Americans on the real and threats to our personal safety. We're going to pay for it. You will be served lead. There is no question we are living in a time where the potential for violence surrounding politics and political issues is high. Regardless of political affiliation, individuals and groups of individuals commit violent acts, threaten public officials, and attempt to disrupt our country's fair and impartial election system with increasing frequency and intensity. The Committee for Safe and Secure Elections has produced this video briefing to inform both elections officials and law enforcement. I know you. Good luck today. Nora 34, copy call. Nora 34? Nora 34, suspicious circumstances, 3485, Dunmore Ave, 3485, Dunmore. Nora 34 en route. Hello, I'm Deputy Buff at the Sheriff's Office. This is my training officer, Corporal Von Swan. I understand that you called in today. Uh, yeah, I am an election official and I just... In recent years, an unprecedented number of election officials in the U.S. have received threats or have experienced other suspicious circumstances relating to their job. It is imperative that every occurrence is reported and thoroughly investigated by law enforcement. I mean, it's probably nothing. I don't know what to make of it, but um, I got a license plate number if you want it. Nice. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people don't get that. They just came in this morning? Yeah, it was probably 90 minutes ago. All right. Yeah, I've got an overzealous trainee. It's probably nothing. Listen, I'll be at my desk in just a couple minutes and I'll look into it. Will do. Thank you, sir. All right. Hey, I found this is probably nothing, but I figure you should take a look at it. between success and failure. Recognizing what constitutes a crime in regards to each state's election laws can be challenging, lacking proper communication and resources. Law enforcement's familiarity with its state's election laws can drastically improve the effectiveness when responding to calls relating to elections and election officials. 
that. You need to take um, a look at this. Bill, can you hold on a second? Bill, I'm sending you some links. This is the guy. He's posting threats. Yep, that's the guy. Miriam, we've got your back. This guy's bought and paid for. He shows up, we take him. for safe and secure elections recommends five actions election officials and law enforcement can take together. One, meet with counterparts and other stakeholders. Two, share experiences, contact information, election details, and expectations. Three, agree to work together regularly and define rules of engagement where voters are present. Four, plan incident response, information sharing, and crisis communication. Five, practice information sharing and response plans. Threats to our election workers can disrupt our safe and secure elections, which are vital to all of our democratic processes. It is all of our responsibility to work together, know our state and federal laws, and take every threat seriously.